Hello everyone, so today we're going to be looking at a project that me and my friend Blair have made. So here we have the project, and it might look a little rough, and that's because we've been working on it for quite a while, and we've been through a few iterations of it. So as you can see, there are steel sheets in here, and there are also membranes in here, and we can take a closer look at those over here. And what this is supposed to do is it's supposed to produce hydrogen and oxygen, and how it works is these steel sheets and these membranes that we've made go into this box and they go alternating back and forth between the steel sheets and these membranes. And it does take a little bit of work to get it in there, but when it does, it comes together quite nice. And you can see that it is alternating back and forth between the steel sheets and the membranes. We have a positive side which produces hydrogen or oxygen, and then we have the negative side which produces the other gas. And here we are with the lid. It has holes that the oxygen or hydrogen goes through and separates it into its respective side. And that slides on top. This is pretty hard to get in there, but you can do it. So here we have a siding to hide some of the glue that we used on the sides. And we also have RGB lighting just to make it look cool and a cool project idea we wanted to add on to it. If you want to see the full thing all together, including more details about how it works, make sure to check out my future video on this, where I'll do a better in-depth video on it. And over here we have our custom power supply that we made, because we need a very specific voltage and a lot of current for the plates. So we have our outputs here, and that goes into the plates. Each plate should have about 2 volts, I think. And we also just plug it into the wall and use a transformer to change the voltage. So we'll take a closer look in here if I can fold this back. And as you can see, it might not look great, and that's because we are planning on changing things. So make sure to look out for that full video that I post. So we're going to take a closer look in here, and as we zoom in, you can also see that we're using an Arduino Nano to power all the electronics. And we 3D printed this case that is hiding some more electronics, like this LCD screen, a few of the buttons and knobs. And we also have this transformer in here, which is going to be changed, like I think said. And we have a few other things going on in here. Also, it's going to be changed, um, so we won't have as many things. This is our output, and that runs through here. We also have another output down there that you can't see. This is a full bridge rectifier, and then the power supply running all the low voltage. So if you want to see more videos like this or want to see the full video that I'm going to post, make sure to like and subscribe. Check out my channel.